I'm back with another video, and today I'm gonna be continuing Minecraft Story Mode Season Two, guys. So as you know, we um we played um uh three different parts so far, I believe. So this is part four. So if you haven't seen the last three parts, or if you haven't even seen Season One for some weird reason, then go check them out. They're pretty good. Especially season one. Guys, I gotta say, this episode is awesome so far. Like, I really like it. And yeah. So, recap of earlier. We just went through Beacon Town, hang, hung out with everyone, and then we went mining with Petro. We found this strange gauntlet, and then, uh, yeah. Then, um, I, I can't remember. Oh yeah, and then we uh, had to confront the, uh, the person who um, uh, cheated Petra into getting her golden sword, aka Stella. And then we talked to the treasure hunter Petra told us about about the prison marine gauntlet and then seems like we're gonna go to the sea temple so yeah but without further ado let's get right into the episode oh jesse i'm so glad you're here radar hey radar there is a lot going on so and so needs to finalize the ideas for the founding day banners the like cake bakers can't agree drawing. on what color to make the front of their shop the Woolmakers Guild isn't super happy about their booth being next to the Firework Union. Understandable. The delegate from Boomtown left word that she wanted to make a speech at the parade. Very odd. Radar. Blue hair. Smells like sulfur. Speaking of which, you should probably work on your founding day keynote address. Oh, and rehearse it! Why didn't I factor in rehearsal time? Stupid, stupid! I'm sure I could shift a few things around, maybe push back your lunch with the followers of Soren. They're very strange anyway. They'll understand. Maybe. And did you know Lucas left another draft for you to look at? I said you'd try and give notes when possible, but not to get his hopes up. And then I left a general block of time for founding day-related disasters. I figured that would cover any of the various and sundry things that come up. Ah, sorry, got in the zone there. Uh, what's up, boss? I see you brought friends and a new accessory. Short version, the town's in danger. I stopped it for now, but I think this can help me fix it permanently. I'll be gone for a little bit. G gone? But Jesse, what about Beacon Town? Founding day is right around the corner, and if it's really in, in, in danger, who will protect everyone? Uh... There's no telling what could happen! You can lead them, yeah, let Radar... Why don't you try leading them, pal? What? Me? That's... This is... Try not to explode. Ah! And he exploded. Jesse, I won't let you down. I know you won't. Good luck, boss! Beacon Town will be waiting for you when you get back. Um, um goodbye. Mm. There was no reason to <laughs> You this. said it. Can't believe that's your assistant. He's more wound up than a pack of parrots with a jukebox. Or a creeper in a herd of cats. Or a squid in a I don't a box or something. Anyway, he's real nervous is what I'm saying. He's a little nuts, but his heart's in the right place. <sighs> you say so. So, where's this armor of yours? Oh, wow. You got some pretty cool stuff here. Stuff I've never, uh, probably only seen, you know, once or twice. Not as cool as my stuff, obviously, but uh, you're well uh, on your way. Excited. Definitely on your way to becoming a big hero no like me. Not as big, of course, but, uh, you know, a real, a real great swing. It's just like I always say, I couldn't have done it without my friends. Yeah, friends are the best. <laughs> Love having friends. Hey, wait, is this not where you keep your armor anymore? Yeah, I'm not seeing any armor. No? No, I just had Olivia install a little upgrade while she was here.
cool is redstone infused armor. Eligard was incredibly crafty. I wonder what sort of awesome redstone contraption she'd be making these days. Glimmering diamonds and shiny gold. Tim would have looked great in it if he was real. So much pomp for a guy who never actually exists. Non-existent guys lost my game. The Shield of Infinity. I love how regal this was. I feel like Ivor might have been running out of ideas when he named it though. This just looks cool too. The Redstone Riot. Beautiful engineering on this one. I like the glowy bits. That's a technical term. You know what, guys? Let's just go with our old fashioned classic one. From season one. Just so cool. like one of the tree slashers of Kulun Bay, and that's very high praise. Now this one that's more like way cooler than we did in the last season for some reason. Hey, uh, can you just give me and Jesse a minute? Huh? The heck mouth and everything, I feel like I didn't get to properly apologize for all the stuff with my sword, Champion City, so I'm sorry. You won't hear it again, so don't get used to it. I'll totally deny everything later. I appreciate it. I mean, it's pretty big of you. Hey, look, I really meant it. Ah, it really is big of me, isn't it? Okay. Now with that sappy stuff out of the way, let's go find us a sea temple. Jack, Nurm, you guys ready to go? Oh, like, So say? where are we going exactly? Like, it's so time to chart a course for Doom Sea. Oh, shut up, Nurm. It's an awesome name. off the cliff, mournful blade in hand, and drove it right into the head of the Ikthara zombie. I slept on an enormous pile of diamonds that night. Enormous? Oh, I can only imagine. <sighs> oh, yeah. Pretty typical day for me. Whatever. You'll see. After this, I'll take you to this amazing woodland mansion I found. Yeah, let's make that happen. It's really far from here. I love it. It's almost certain death. Hey, can I come too? Yeah, they're kind oh, of leaving yeah. us out. Of course. I just assumed you'd be busy, like, running Beacon Town. But, yeah, the more the merrier. All right. Before we go down there, I feel I should give you one last warning. The rules as you know them, how the world works, those don't always apply in this temple. Hmm. Hey, what? Some people believe it's because this temple was made by the admin. It sounded like Lucas's voice. You know, like what? he said, hey, what? Supposedly he's some all-powerful ancient person. Built the world, I don't know. But the legend of the admin is just that. A legend. A story. A bunch of superstitious malarkey, frankly. I've been to the stuff. swamps of Funja and back, and that's still one of the more ridiculous things I've ever heard. So, this temple, it's dangerous then? You don't have any sponge in your ears, do you? Yeah, this place is super dangerous. 
Uh, we used this island as our staging area last time we were here. How can you be so sure it's the same one? Uh, perfect internal compasses. The... the sea temple is directly below us. It's like I can feel it. And what are we waiting for? That's the spirit. Picked up these enchanted helmets from the deep dwellers of Hombar Kavas. Time to suit up and roll out. Oh. end the episode because it's only been what 11 minutes yeah because guys i was about to end the episode i'm so sorry let's continue Whoa. temples that way how compass right oh that's so cool this is like, what? episode will be a big episode like 40 minutes or something or 30 minutes or probably only 20 minutes but yeah so hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you next time bye